Hi there, this is Harry and welcome back to Advanced English Lessons with Harry, where I try to help you to get a better understanding of the English language. We help you to understand the use of adjectives, verbs, adverbs, everything that you could possibly want. And indeed, if you have any particular requests, then I'm going to give you my address at the end of this particular lesson and you can write to me if you have anything that you wish to request or you wish to ask. So, as I said, this is an advanced English lesson and in this particular lesson, we're looking at different ways to say no. Well, of course, no is a very short word. No, no means no. But sometimes, depending on the intonation in your voice and how you stress it, it can appear and come across a little bit rude. You may not intend it that way, but that's how it sounds. Can I have this? No. Can I go here? No. Will you help me? No. Do you know where the bank is? No. So it's very repetitive and it also sounds a little bit rude. So what I'm going to give you are alternative ways, different ways in which you can say no. And I've broken those down into some more formal ways to say no, okay? Ways in which you can be a little bit more polite so you can avoid just saying no. Firm or strong ways in which you can say no when you really want to underline the fact that you do mean no. And then finally, some informal ways to say no. So four different sections. So first section are formal ways to say no. I'm afraid not. Will you be joining us for lunch today, sir? I'm afraid not. I have something else to do or I have another arrangement or a prior appointment. I'm afraid not. I'm sorry, but the answer is no. So instead of saying no, somebody asks you for something from a, in a business context, I'm sorry, the answer is no, I'm afraid, I'm unable to help you, or I'm unable to attend the meeting, or I'm unable to contribute to your collection. I'm afraid not was the first one, and second, I'm sorry, but the answer is no. Now, something really, really formal, and it's, you know, you have to be really scratch your head when you might use this. I'm sorry, but that request cannot be fulfilled. Whoa, what does that mean? When something cannot be fulfilled, we cannot do it. Yeah, so your request for, for example, a particular room in a hotel or a particular table at a restaurant, then the answer coming back might not simply be a no, you can't have that room, or no, that room isn't available, or no, you can't have that table. I'm sorry, your request cannot be fulfilled. It sounds like it's prepared by some bot, I think, yes? I'm sorry, but that cannot be fulfilled. Now, another formal way to say no, not to my knowledge, okay? So you're not definitely saying no, but not to my knowledge. So you come into the, the office, you're 10 minutes before the start time, just as you're hanging up your coat or about to grab your first coffee, the boss comes through and says, have you seen David? Well, is he in? Well, not to my knowledge, but I've only just arrived myself. So not to my knowledge means, well, he could be, but I haven't seen him. So he, he might or he might not be. Have you tried his office? So not to my knowledge. Have those customers confirmed that order yet? Not to my knowledge, but I'll get on to the people in the marketing department and see have they heard anything. Yeah, not to my knowledge. Another way is when we want to be a little bit apologetic about our answer no. Sadly, I'm unable to do that because I'm not going to be in the city that weekend. Sadly, I'm unable to attend because I've got a prior engagement. Sadly, I'm unable to help you because I really don't have any expertise in that particular area. So a nice formal way to say no without actually saying no. And then slightly in between formal and informal, I'd love to do it, but I really don't have the time. I'd love to do it, but I don't think I'm the person that can best represent you. So again, different ways in which you can say no without actually saying no. So I'll run through those once again. These are the formal ways to say no. I'm afraid not. I'm sorry, but the answer is no. I'm sorry, but that request cannot be fulfilled at the moment. Not to my knowledge. 
Sadly, I'm unable to help you, or sadly, I'm unable to attend, or sadly, I'm unable to contribute. I'd love to do it, but I don't think I'm the right person. I'd love to do it, but I'm just simply not going to be around for the next two to three weeks. So all formal ways in which you can say no. And if you do like this particular lesson, then please, please like the video. And if you can, subscribe to the channel because it really, it does, it really, really helps. Now, in the second group, we want to look at ways in which you can politely say no. Now, first one, not really. Now, not really is again, you're saying no, but it's, it's a little bit soft. Yeah. Are you going to join us for that game of bowling or are you, are you on for a game of bowling at the weekend? Not really. It's not my cup of tea. Not really because it's uh, the weekends. I like to spend time with the family. Okay. So not really a nice, polite way to say no. Are you going to join that gym? Ah, not really. You know, me and gyms, we don't get along so well couple of visits and then I get bored. Not really. And then the next one, either possibly or probably not. Possibly or probably not. Are you going to attend that lecture next week? I hear it's going to be very good. Possibly not or probably not. I think I'll be busy and ah, I'll, I'll, I'll see. I'm, if, if I have nothing else to do, then I may go along. Okay, so probably not or possibly not. Okay. Are you going to apply for that promotion? It's an opportunity. Ah, probably not. It's just, I don't think I really want to commit myself to the company for the length of time that they are looking for. So either possibly not or probably not. Next one, not exactly, not quite. Do you understand what we're looking for? Do you understand everything that the customer has asked? Well, not really, or not exactly, or not quite. So again, rather than saying no, I haven't a clue what they're looking for. So we can soften it a little bit, say, well, not really, not quite, yeah? yeah. So, or oh, have you finished that report that we, we need? Not really, a few little sections to complete. Have you finished that report? I, I need it tomorrow. Well, not, not quite, but give me another couple of hours. So rather than saying, no, I haven't, or I'm really struggling, then ah, not exactly, not really, not quite. And then again, just if you're, your kids perhaps ask you something and you don't want to be just say absolutely no, you can say, I think not, not this time, perhaps another time. Yeah. Okay. Would you like to join us for lunch? I think not. I think I'll stay at my desk. I'll finish this bit of work. I really want to get home, but thanks anyway. Yeah, so I think not. So nice, polite ways in which you can say no without actually saying no. Not really. Probably not or possibly not. Not exactly. Not quite. I think not. I think not. Okay, so there are good ways in which you can be a little more polite in how you turn down that request or that offer. Now, if we don't want to be so polite and we do want to be firm, okay, firm means strong to make sure somebody gets the message. So there's no misunderstanding, there's no ambiguity in the answer you give. People understand that no definitely does mean no. Certainly not. Absolutely not. Mum, can I stay up tonight and watch the horror movie? All the kids in the class are watching it. Certainly not. Absolutely not. You've got to get up early in the morning for school. So certainly not. Absolutely not. So without a shadow of a doubt, that child is not going to be able to watch that horror movie. Certainly not. Absolutely not. Sorry, it's not possible. Yeah? Can you collect me from school? Can you take me to the disco? Can you pick me up from the disco? Sorry, not possible. Can't do that. I've got a busy day the next day. I'm not going to be sitting outside a disco all night waiting for you to come. So it's not possible. Or if somebody asks you, can you take me to Mary's house? Yeah, can you drop me? Well, not now. I'm busy. Yeah? Well, come on, please. No, I said not now. So again, you're being absolutely firm. Give me half an hour. 
and I'll drop you then. Okay, so not now. Okay, or if somebody knocks on your office door and say, can I disturb you? I wanted to get your opinion for 10 minutes. Look, not now. Come back later. I'm in the middle of something and I really have to get it finished. So a very firm, no, not now. Come back later. So firm ways in which you can say no. Certainly not. Absolutely not. Not possible. Not now. Okay, in the last section then, informal ways to say no. Nope. Nah. Yeah. So you know, have you seen the car keys? Nope. Would you fancy a pizza tonight? Nah. Something else. Do you want to go to the movies? Nah, not interested in the movies really. The weekend, yeah, but not not midweek. Would you like to play a game of cards or a game of Monopoly? Ah, I think I'll pass. I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed early. I think I'll pass. Do you think they're going to win the football match tomorrow night? Not a chance. Absolutely not. Not a chance. Do you think we'll get a salary increase or indeed we might get a bonus? Not happening. I don't see it happening. It's not happening. Things are difficult. I don't think they're going to be giving salary increases and I definitely don't believe we're going to get any bonuses. So not happening. Not this year. Now, some ways to soften this when you want to say no. Yeah, so friends come round to, to your home and say, come on, we're going for a hike. We're going to go up the, the mountains for a couple of hours. We'll bring some food with us and we'll be back by three o'clock. You must be joking. Have you seen the temperature? There's no way I'm going. You have to be kidding. There's absolutely no chance that I'm climbing up that mountain. Okay, so yeah, you must be joking. Or are you kidding? There's no way you're going to get me out on a day like today. Some other time. Come back in a few months when I'm feeling better. Yeah? Okay, so you're really making them aware that there's no chance that you're going to go hitchhiking or hiking up the hill or climbing the mountains, not when the weather is as cold as it is. And then finally, when we want to absolutely tell somebody in a half joking way that no, no way. No way. Yeah. So it again depends on how you say it because you can say it like that. No way with an element of surprise in your voice, or you can say it with a real deep intonation. No way. Yeah. So your son wants to borrow your car. Last time he borrowed it, a little bit of an accident, side of the car is damaged. So when he asks you this time, no way. You are not driving my car. Full stop. Yeah. Okay. So you let him know he's not going to get it. But if you get a bit of a surprise about something and they come in and say, oh, did you hear that Mary got engaged? No way. Mary. Wow. I must drop her a line. I must write and tell her congratulations. Wow. No way. That's great news. So here it's a bit uplifted and it's a slightly different way of using no way. So all about the intonation in your voice. Okay. So there we have some informal ways. Nope. Nah. Not interested. I think I'll pass. Not a chance. Not, not happening. Not today. Not ever. You must be joking. Are you kidding? No way or no way. I'm not doing that or you're not doing that. So really emphasize it strongly. Okay. So all of those are different ways in which you can say no without actually saying no. You've got formal ways to say them, informal ways to say them, when you want to avoid saying it, but you want to be a bit polite. And then finally, when you want to be really firm to make sure somebody gets the message that there's absolutely no chance that they're going to borrow the car, or there's no chance that they're going to be allowed to do something. Okay. So again, practice these. Try to avoid just saying no all the time. It gets a little bit boring. Pick a couple of the options here, formal or informal. Practice them with your friends. Practice writing them down in sentences. And if you have any problems, any issues, well, of course, come back to me, www.englishlessonviaskype.com. Very happy to help you. Very happy to give you some additional advice or examples, whatever you happen to need. Okay. Well, this is Harry saying goodbye. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching and as always, join me for the next lesson.